Former U.S. Vice President Al Gore is following up his controversial documentary, An Inconvenient Truth, with an inconvenient sequel. Terry Hart spoke to the dedicated environmentalist about what else? Climate change. Storms get stronger and more destructive. Watch the water splash off the city. This is global warming. How many days do you wake up frustrated? Um, not too often. There are certainly causes for frustration if you want to let yourself feel that way, but I concentrate on the, on the progress and the optimism and the hope. An inconvenient sequel, Truth to Power, concentrates on those things too, as the follow-up to An Inconvenient Truth shows us just how close we are to a real energy revolution, 11 years after Al Gore first made waves by bringing rising sea levels to the surface of pop culture. If this were to go, sea level worldwide would go up 20 feet. That documentary won an Oscar, while Gore earned a Nobel Peace Prize and a reputation as a leader of the climate change movement. But Gore tells Terry this isn't just his story. So we see our Prime Minister Justin Trudeau in this. Yeah. Um, how's Canada doing? Canada was one of the genuine leaders in Paris in securing this historic agreement. Uh, Prime Minister Trudeau and his team played a, a fantastic role there. I don't agree with everything that uh, he's done, but I am thrilled to see the, the change of direction here in Canada under his leadership. Of course, Gore's own homeland isn't going in quite the same direction. When An Inconvenient Truth came out, Donald Trump was a reality TV host. These days, he's the President of the United States, and he's not a believer in climate change. We need some global warming! Reason. You'll recall, last month he pulled the U.S. from the Paris Climate Agreement, meaning America is quitting the international effort to address dangerous global warming. Can you talk to me a bit, Mr. Gore, about, for you, what that actually means? I thought he might uh, come to his senses, but I was wrong. And when he made his speech withdrawing from the Paris Agreement, I was concerned, but Almost immediately afterward, the whole rest of the world redoubled their commitment to, to meet the Paris Agreement requirements. And it's almost as if the world was saying, well, we'll show you Donald Trump. So let's talk about the impact of some of your friends in Hollywood who yeah. joined the cause. From Leonardo DiCaprio mm -hmm. to Ellie Goulding, what does it mean when those people with that influence come on board and support? Yeah, I think it has a big impact because they they have voices people can hear loudly. And Leo made a movie uh, last year that I thought was e excellent. This is the most important issue of our time. The question is, can we change our course in time? I first met him when he was 23 years old, and I, I appreciate uh, his activism. But it takes all of us, and everyone needs to do more. When we all make changes, then that adds up to the big change that we need. An inconvenient sequel, Truth to Power, hits theaters next Friday, August 4th.